Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. This is the Wix online meeting number 82. Roll our way through uh, September. It's actually the 22nd, never mind the 21st there. I obviously wrote this slide yesterday and didn't get my day straight because this is today, not yesterday. As always, this meeting is recorded for those of you that aren't here with us right now on the 22nd. Um, we'll keep rolling on um, through the agenda. Uh, which mostly is going to be triage today since we have plenty of things to triage. Um, and it looks like John just showed up, which means I think we're ready to go do triage. Ready, Bob? I am ready. All right. Look at this. Ten bugs out of nowhere. No, not out of nowhere, but we do have earlier today. Look at that. One, two, three. Yeah, half. You're right, Bob. And then 24 hours is most of them. Yeah, look at that. Woohoo. So, run once triggered. This is the driver thing, right? Yes. Yes. Cool. So someone needs to take a look at the log files and see if there's anything obvious, but I still think we're leaning towards the there really isn't anything we can do about this unless we want to take elevated installs on Windows 7 post-restart all the time. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll volunteer to take a look at the okay. logs and report back. Sounds great. Let's roll with that. Um, and I've lost my mouse cursor. .NET 451 compiler failing. .NET 451 works with 3.10 generally. Have you tried this? All right, so one more week while we're waiting for this? Yeah. All right, I think we'll do that. Since it was just last week that we did that. Lit does not accept binder-specific command line arguments. Command line to binder extensions can parse, but lit does not. Mm. Yeah, we could take that. Uh, would we take it in three, or do you want to put it in four? Are we doing anything in three? So this is Heath's bug, and he says he'll take the bug. It's a matter of he, he'd like to put it in three. Your call, Bob. I'm kind of. Yeah, uh, I'd have to see the change. Uh, if it's significant, it might run afoul of limits on three. Okay. And if it's small and non-intrusive, I would take it in three. All right. But we want the pull request against four first. Are we going to start enforcing Sean's wonderful idea from a while ago? Which yeah, is what Jacob's that. reinforcing that. All right, cool. So let's take the pull request against four or three, and we'll go from there. Cool. So, yes, we'll take that. Download MSI package during compilation if missing. Whoa. Be nice to download MSI, which has a source file and download URL, but the actual file is missing during. Whoa. Yeah, that was kind of my first reaction. Um, I would definitely want it to be opt-in. I just, I, I, I just like the. No, I know this in feature, this new no. world, so, it's supposed to be. You so know, no, you can implement this with your own binder extension, though your file binder extension. So if you really want to do that, they can do that. But we're not taking this feature in the core tool set. Okay. All right. So this bug, I think, is related to another bug, right? Failed no. To require this no? They're independent of each other? All right. They are. Bummer. Okay. Log file, link for the installer log. Mm, prompting for source to that location. Oh, it's hard to read like this. Yeah, go go for the link. Yeah, I, I don't know what happens when I open. It's harder to open links with no mouse, too. There we go. Oh, that's not what I wanted. That's not. All right, that's not what I wanted at all. Um, it is. If you want to see the log, go because it's not in this block. Oh, someone put pre-code. That's not how you do it in Markdown, but that's okay. Open up a new window. Open the log, not preview, not allowed. Do I download it? How do I open it? File options, download. Please just let me have the file, open it in Notepad. Wow. What is all this GC stuff? Wow, all right, whatever. That's um, their VA. VA. Prompt for source, fail to resolve file there. 
failed to acquire payload that, did they never send it to the web? Well, so that's my question. It appears to me that based on the fact that every other uh, callback in the BA has extensive logging around it, that they're not asking Burn to download. Yeah, this is this is a BA failure, especially since it's a custom BA. So, but my only question is: Is there any way that it could have worked before, considering they're they're saying for O worked, unless there were, you know, I don't know, maybe they never ran into this problem. Yeah, maybe they shipped it local. Or they had machines that already had it. Yeah, they're not. This oh, they're not downloading. Oh, you know what it is. You know what it is. I bet this is just a bet that they because it's the managed BA. This was always taken care of by the prereq BA. Oh, very possibly. But anyway, they're not asking to. I don't see anything in here that says they're asking it for it to download from the internet. So that their BA is not doing the right thing. It's not a bug in Wix. Their BA needs to say, yeah, go download the file. Prompt the user to go to the internet, or don't prompt the user and just go to the internet by yourself, whichever way you want to do that, and call it good. So, yeah, anyway, that's that, that's that's not a bug. That's a that's a bug in the BA. Um. Why don't you look at the... Uh, Do you want to look at the 4904 or whatever? Because oh, everybody says sorry, that it sorry. might be related. Yeah, I'm the one who opened 4904. No, it's You not are, related. and you said it's not related. So it's I was trusting related. that you were right. Because the download URL is right? The, the URL is correct. It's given okay. a name that's wrong you know, compared to what you would download from Microsoft. But okay. micro, you could name it foo.exe and it would work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, it's just the local name that we've named it. Not ideally. Just fine. I mean, I'm yeah. happy to take this bug. Do you want it in 3.11 or is this going in in 4? I'm ambivalent because I don't know that anybody cares about the file name on disk, I hope. Probably not. It should just work. Um, yeah, it'll get cached wrong. Do I care about that? I don't think I care about that. No, each bundle will remove it as you well. Hopefully, it's smart cache no. equals no anyway. Smart cache no. equals no anyway, right? I don't think so. Oh, right, because we refer to the XE, mm. but it's permanent. Mm. That's unfortunate. I don't. Sorry, I don't know. Yeah, I couldn't remember off the top of my head because, well, just because. Um, hmm. I'm curious. Hold on. I'll go find out. Well, so, will we take this in three? I guess that's what we're trying to figure out here, huh? It is not marked cash equals no. Um, which means it would... It'll get cleaned up. It'll get cleaned up, but it's going to get cached based Twice. on the hash, right? Yeah. So you'll end up with two files in the same place, and then when one bundle removes it, it'll remove it, and when the other bundle... That had use it by a different name and removes it, we'll remove it then. So once you want to install all the bundles, the thing will get removed. But this Sorry, XC... Why are you going to end up with two files? If you have one bundle that has it by the old name and you have another bundle that has it by the new name, if both of those bundles are installed in the no, machine, I'm... this will end up in the cache location with both bundles under different names. Yeah, sorry, I wasn't concerned about multiple... Right. That's it. Version interaction. That's the only issue with this that I can think of. Fortunately, it's the web installer. <laughs> uh, yes. Yes. No one should ever use the web installer. It will actually download more data than the offline installer. <laughs> Interesting. That is the magic of LZMA compression. Right. So... Um, okay, wait, now we're out of order. I'm all confused. Um, yes, I would take this in 311. Okay. Is that you? I'll take it. All right. Yeah, I'll take it. 
that solves that problem. And it's not related to 49, 489. It, because the URL is correct, even if the file name that it's being cached to is not the file name that you would expect it to be called. Which is fine. Uh, I would have expected a different error code for that. But again, it doesn't look like there's any attempt to yeah. go out to the network. No, there, so are no, there are none. There are none. Yeah. So it's not. 4899. Return values of XML utils are not being consistent. Oh, this, thing. Values are this is so. There are two bugs in here. This, this, there's one in that it's not that it's not handling the the uh, files in use, right? This is the files in use thing. So there's a bug here that files in use is not being or well, if it's, you set files in use to no, it doesn't. No, it's it's probably the case that any of the of those attributes that are parsed in that function, okay. and perhaps many others, are not. Handled correctly. Got it. So, the, but certainly all the, it's not the, yes just the show files. It's a set of them that are not being yes. parsed correctly. Great. Yep. And then there's this, which is this not being consistent. So we can take this bug in four. I'm fine taking this bug in four if someone wants to go fix all the s falses. But there should be another bug open about the actual issue that we're hit hitting here. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm I'm fine with that. I agree. All right. All right, and and I would take that too. Yes, a second issue because the second issue I think we should consider taking a three eleven. Yeah. This we cannot like as written we cannot take this in three because it will break that API, which is why it's been that way for so long. Right. So this bug, as it's described, is not the right. But yeah. So Jacob, you need to lift your thing up and put it in the other bug because this bug is about XML util not being consistent versus the actual problem that it's causing. Yes. So we could take that, and I would take that in 3.11, because it's not good that you set this to false and <laughs> it's still on, or whatever. Yeah, it'd be interesting to, uh, uh, all the, the wrappers around uh, get attribute EX, mm -hmm. it'd be interesting to update, or sorry, the wrappers around get attribute, it might be interesting to update those in four to update those to use get attribute EX so that you know we're consistent there. Yes. Yeah. Uh, S false is not a good thing. We've we've come to learn S false was yeah. not a, a good thing. It was it was a interesting experiment. It was not used incorrectly, but it's wrong. Um it's too it's too bug prone, as we saw here. Because it succeeds. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, for three eleven, I think we can. Yeah, we can correct. Well, yeah, it just doesn't work right now. I don't think anybody. Anybody yeah. that was. Well, I don't, I don't think it's as it's as bad. The the problem we have, the biggest problem we have here is that we're overloading, or well, we're reusing the same variable. Yeah, that's. Yeah, you know, that DW bool. Yeah. And so you know a an, an attribute. Checked for earlier affects a not found case. So yeah, we do that sometimes, but yeah, I hear you. I, I'm sorry. I'm, what I'm saying is, I think it's probably not as widespread as we might fear. Oh well, I also think that S false is generally handled in a number of places. Just not in this particular spot. Uh huh. Yeah. But yeah, all those suppressed stuff and the the the. Bundle UI stuff or bundle yeah, BA options table, whatever that's called. All right. Make SFX CA should validate specific app config. Oh, yeah, this is that bug that we did before where embedded in. Yes. Uh, cool. I We would take this in 4x. Someone wanted to do it. I generally agree. Be a good thing to not. We would say this a bug last time, right? Yeah, yeah, I asked so, um, totally. to reopen as a feature. Oh, okay, cool. So, yeah, totally a reasonable thing to take in four. I wouldn't do it in three because we're not doing it. Yeah, that. I agree. All right, this bug. All right, Bob, you're the one that knows what's going on, or so you yeah. said you have found the thing that crashes, but you didn't tell us what the API was, so I'm, I've been waiting on bated breath for this bug. Well, the API function that's, that's failing is 
get tick count. Oh. Which has existed pretty much forever. Um, so, it, and it's not actually that it's failing when it's calling that, get tick count. It's crashing. Well, sorry, yeah, it is crashing. Yeah. But it's not, it's not a general crash when you call get tick count. It's just, it just happens to fail here. Oh, so something else has gone awry. Yeah. So I wonder if we screwed is, up memory or something. Um, it is possible. Well, I mean, a bunch of things are possible. Um, and it's, it's a particular call in, uh, WC add temp record. Where, where we use get tick count as the, the mm -hmm. unique fire. Mm -hmm. So it's sort of a static, which is a little hanky. Um, and plus, you know, WCA add temp record is in WCA util.lib and then linked into uh, wixca.dll. Mm -hmm. the, the general case of a, you know, a function calling a function with a static that calls get tick count to initialize it, that works. It's some other combination. Is it the library? I don't know. Is it, you know, something, something, I don't know. I don't know what, it, what the actual problem is, but it is a failure in uh, Visual Studio 2015 generated code. If you fall back to Visual Studio 2013 generated code, it works fine. <laughs> so this is either oh, either a problem with Visual Studio 2015 or a problem in the Wix build in how we're building, again, the libraries, the DLLs, some interaction thereof, something. Um, it is not a problem, um, you know, again, not a problem in general. Uh, this isn't as easy as, oops, we forgot to use, you know, V140 yeah. XP. No, no, not that simple. Or catastrophic. Um, yeah, I suppose there's that too, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jacob, that is correct. That is where it crashes. This is, of course, me based on me adding, like, a million lines of printf debugging to figure out where it was actually crashing. Wow. Um, could, did it not repro into the debugger? The debugger I'm running on XP, I did not get so far as to set up remote debugging. Okay. It's an XP problem. It doesn't doesn't repro yeah, yeah, right, right. on Windows 7 right. and Windows 8. I forgot about the XP pivot. Yeah. That means you would need remote debugging. Right. I haven't gotten that far. Yeah. All right. So we're not taking 310. Are we taking it through uh, 11? Yeah, I think we should investigate. Because right. you know, honestly, when we start getting to 4, I start going, XP? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> We're yeah, still doing um, XP, but how much longer? This, Truthfully, this is something, you know, I'm going to... I don't know how much effort I'm going to put into this if it is, in fact, uh, something related to you know, Visual Studio 2015. Um, we can open I have some pull requests pending to uh, let you flip switches and override the default in the build, which is always build with the latest version, mm -hmm. because we always have the option of falling back and building this 311 with 2013. Yeah. So. All right. I still think we should decide what we want to do in 311, so I'm with you. Yeah, I don't have. Uh, I, I'm not exactly sure what to do here. I do. I, I think we should have a fix for this. Okay. And 311. Cool. Um, cool. I, I don't, on the, off the top of my head, know what that is. Okay. But I will assign the bug to myself. All right. I have lots of conversations with myself about this. Missing documentation on how to get the Wix standard bootstrap application foundation to work. Well, that's true. We don't talk about foundation much at all. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Why don't uh, they send a pull request? That would have been easier. But something like that. I don't why would you what? Why would you use foundation with oh, 
this is if you want to use foundation. Do you want to foundation okay. with a custom theme BA and, uh, based on Wix standard BA? Why else would you use foundation? That's what you would do it for. I mean, that's how foundation is used today, isn't it? I mean, you fill in all these things. I mean, foundation isn't documented because it's not really like a thing you use, but you could, and this is how you would use it. Sorry, I'm still confused. Why the hell would you use it for a custom theme? As opposed to the other ones and then replace their theme? No, sorry, I'm 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 looking for a custom BA, but I don't see one. Right. Uh, foundation would be used if you want to. Sorry, foundation and the Ball Wix standard bootstrapper application element would be used together if you have like a custom BA built on top of, or you know, based on Wix standard BA, but not actual Wix BA. Because if you use one of the the if you use Wix standard bootstrapper application with one of the the standard IDs, mm -hmm. it's it's going or under a bootstrapper application ref. Man, I wish that we hadn't renamed UX to bootstrapper application because these make for some very long element names. Um, if you if you just want to add some custom themes, you can just use some payloads. I'm not I'm not clear on why you would do this versus just overriding the theme. Which you don't even have to do, just theme file, which they're already doing here. I know, I'm I'm yeah. So sorry, I'm just I'm I'm So basically sure you're saying foundation, foundation shouldn't be documented. Well I'm I'm finding issue with the bug report. Whether foundation should be documented is, I guess, a separate question. I don't understand how how the bug apparently works, which means I don't. Oh, I'm. I don't get could, what the bug is about. I just left part out. I wish I could hit that link. I feel like I'm on it, but I can't click it. Pull it off of here. Then do I get this possible? Oh man, that's not what I wanted at all. Oh no, I can't see my mouse cursor. Oh, what a mess. <laughs> Sorry, I've totally messed up the video now. I'm sure. Just trying to pull this off. There we go. Thank oh, goodness. Good grief. Um, I see. So the problem is our documentation actually calls out Bootstrap Replication Foundation. So if we don't want people to use it, we probably should just pull it. Um, there's a documentation in here. Yeah, so I'm, I'm generally Sean's site. So there's more about customizing the theme. I think we have a documentation problem. We should figure out what we want the documentation to say for around this. I think it's probably a better way to go about doing this. And I don't remember from the Bootstrapper Foundation. I think the foundation has the BA um, it does. That defined in it. So that's why this works. Yeah. In the end. But like this is the fact that you have to have a custom table row, that's you know, weird. Given what well, we started doing with the Bootstrap application here, and so right, and that's why I'm saying this this use of foundation is is incorrect. Yeah, because that custom table is present in the payloads that are referenced by the foundation or by the other, you know, RTF right. license, hyperlink right, right. license, etc. But if you look at the documentation that we provided, let me try to bring it back now. It says, Wix standard bootstrap, the final variant is blank and requires developers to provide a theme file and completely customized look and feel. Which isn't it's, quite true either. You have to do more than that. Right, and it's it's useless. I agree. Yes. So we should fix the documentation. Either we remove the foundation from this list or we provide more information about how to correctly customize the look and feel. Okay. Um, I'm good with either way, whichever one we gets to the best place in the end. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm, I lean toward make, making foundation uh, I- internal. Yeah, that's fine. The other ones are built on top of it, so we can yeah, yeah, yeah. get rid of it. But. In Wix 4, we could actually mark it internal so it's only available inside the library that it's compiled in, and that's just freaking right, cool. Right, right, right. <laughs> but we're not using Wix 4 yet. So, I mean, that's the, that's the fix in Wix 4, right? Mark this thing internal and undocumented. Yeah, that one, yeah. So it's a little different because there's a, a, a Manage BA Foundation BA ID, as I recall. And that is a little different because that one you actually are providing your own, all your own files there. So that maybe that makes more sense. This one, I think this one is internal. Okay. Um, so why don't we add that comment to this and we can move it to... Uh, it doesn't really matter where it goes. It's just going to be a documentation update. 3.11. We'll put it, let's put it in 3.11, yep. Yep. and then we can the documentation will get updated correctly from there. <sighs> Fun. I think we've been through all our bugs. Oh, that's right. We finished the other one early. Cool. Other things, stuff people want to talk about, things that we need to talk about all oh, quiet and home front. All right. Those bugs weren't too bad. Um, the show files in use is kind of unfortunate. But oh well. Um, we have the bug fix at 311. Um, otherwise there. Yeah. Mostly other people's bugs and their BAs. John's typing, so I'm just kind of filling space before he finishes his short novel. We can all enjoy. Um, more problems with NuGet. Oh, okay. Well, that's Not our a, fault, right? That's a 4 thing for me. Uh, yeah, Heath, I can label the PRs as... Uh, hints to the correct way to fix the bug, but not the bug fix itself. I can certainly label them that way. Um, all right. Well, if we don't have anything else about Wix today, I don't want to go on a route, and I need to go run, so I need to go do other things. Um, but hey, look, we're staying within a half hour. It's pretty good. Um, I promise we will have one of these days we will talk about right, all the things left to do in 3 or 4. Um, Ownership and I keep access denied. Did Bob do something to four eight? Uh, I have it open. I don't know. I have it open. Hold on, let me try again. I don't know. I'll go through the bugs and I'll I will do as you suggest. Label them, which is probably a great day idea. Then people will know what I'm thinking there, and that'll also <laughs> it'll help me from having to keep going back over and go. Did I mean to take this one? Yes or no. So it, that's a good idea. I will do that. Um. Yes. All right. Cool. Well, then we're going to call it a meeting. Hopefully, Jacob and Bob can sort out their fighting over this particular bug, um, and they will get a new bug, and we will get that show files and use thing fixed in 3.11. And until next week, I guess, you know, take it easy, and uh, keep on doing lots of stuff to be written. Very, very busy. I know. It doesn't look like it, but uh, so many things going on. So, until next time, you take it easy. Later.